Hey folks, it's the Red Falcon, and in this video I'm going to show you my first Horde character. Well, my first Horde character that I got to a high level anyway. This is Brylus, and we are on Ashara. Uh, it's a PvP realm. I'm pretty sure this is my first PvP realm, actually. But um, I haven't touched this character since, well, I don't know when. <laughs> um, this was He was in Vanilla WoW. <clears throat> oh, cool, we're at Thunder Bluff. How about that? Oh, no way! Hold on. The, um, my character, I, he focused on PvP. Um, he's a shaman, so I figured, you know, two-handed shaman, so um, I was all focused on PvP. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Um, let's see here. Ah, guild. Ha! Huh. Wow, the, the guild's still here. Is there even anyone on here? Wow. I think I'm the only one on here. Oh, no, there's still a few people. Yeah, Captain Fluffles. Wow, okay, this guild's still in... I was a guild master. This is actually my first guild, Champions of Azara. We were, um... We were a PvP guild. Well, a very small PvP guild. And it was just me and a bunch of friends, and we'd go around, uh, you know, messing around in battlegrounds and stuff. But uh, the thing is, hold on, do I still have, um, ah, uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, so yeah, this character, he, um, what was I going to say about him? Okay, so we started a PvP guild, and, you know, we had a lot of fun with that, and then we just all kind of got tired of the game and moved on to something else. And some of our friends moved on to other guilds and all that stuff. But, yeah, he's still here. Now, um... Do we still have... Um... I'm trying to find the titles, because... Uh, when I played this character, they still had the old PvP ranking system, where um, you had, at the highest rank, um, at least I think it was the old PvP system on this guy, I'm not sure, because it should have shown up as a title. Maybe not. This is before um, achievements and all that stuff, so... But anyway, um, I would go show all earned achievements. Oh, okay, so yeah, you can say I have like over 500 honorable kills. Okay, this might have been before the uh, the PvP system. Um, basically, the old PvP system was you... Um, it was based on how often you played, and it was like a real-time deal. But the great thing about it was the ranks weren't static. So only one person could be like the uh, the grand... I'm trying to remember what it was called on the Horde. I think it was Grand Champion? Or High Warlord, something, something to that effect. I forgot what the actual ranks were, but only one person could have that. And so when you saw someone wearing like the High Warlord gear, or the high-end PvP gear, you know he was the best of the best. And that was back when this game was a, a lot more... Well, I don't want to say a lot more hardcore, because I think it's it's still hardcore, but in a different way. But it was um, it was pretty intense. To hold that rank, you had to PvP, like, almost eight hours a day or so. It was, it was ridiculous. I don't know how people um, achieve that. I guess if you were unemployed, and you had, or if you had a lot of free time. But anyway. But yeah, this... Uh, yeah, this is my shaman. Level 43. I actually got him uh, a bit higher than uh, Alar. Let's see here. Oh, where do I want to go? I think I'm going to fly Ew. over the barons. Eh, the game's going to lag out a little bit. Oh, yeah, those are not pretty numbers. All right, let's see. Where's a good place to go? Let's fly to... Hmm... I want to fly over the barrens, so... Let's 
I think that'll take me over the over the barons. But yeah, this guy's pre BC, so all of his um all of his abilities and stuff or and achievement well he didn't have achievements, but yeah, he's he's kinda like almost locked in time, I guess. But yeah, this is the Torn starting zone. I uh, have fond memories. I played many Torrens. And this is uh, this is the highest level Torrent I've ever had. But yeah, this was my uh, this realm was our uh, my friends and I are our event our um, advancement into uh, PvP. So we had a lot of fun doing it. I guess that's the thing that matters. But oh, you know what? I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> uh, I meant to go the other way. That's... Yeah. Barons are this way. I don't know why. I, I, I'm all turned around now. <laughs> I'm all turned around. But, you know, I remember um, when I was a young WoW player... Um, flying over, uh, what was that place called? Um, Searing Gorge. I remember flying over the Searing Gorge and seeing, like, this guy fight a dragon. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. I want to be that guy. And eventually I became that guy, and I realized it wasn't all that, what's, you know, what I had hoped. The more of the same. Grinding, grinding, grinding. Quest, quest, quest. PvP, even PvP, I think, got a little repetitive, too. But I don't know, I just, uh... I don't mean the badmouth MMOs and WoW in particular. I'm not. I mean, there's plenty of people that enjoy playing them, and I enjoyed playing them for a while, but I just, I got so bored with them. It's, you know, it's a lot of the same thing over and over again. But anyway, uh, leatherworking and skinning, um, yeah, that's a classic combination. What else can I tell you about this guy? Uh, well, not a whole lot. I'm impressed that our guild um, is still here. That's interesting. <laughs> wow, guild perks. I'm just, I'm just kind of blown away that. I mean, guild perks, that was something in... What was what was the first MMO to have guild perks? I'm trying to remember. What, what was the name of it? Oh, um... The Warhammer MMO. That was the first MMO I had played that had, um... War per um... Guild perks. Southern Barons... Yeah, we'll go this way. Okay. I forgot my uh, Azeroth uh, geology. I'm sorry. Anyway. Um, yeah, I want to fly over the Barrens, take a look at the Barrens. Because the Barrens is a uh, change. I did not like the changes with Cataclysm. A lot of uh, old WoW players didn't. I mean, you got to think about it. Um, let's see, when did Cata come out? Cata came out in 2010, December of 2010. And WoW came out in 2004, so that's six years, give or take, six years of the Barons. And it, I don't know, the Barons used to be from level, I think it was like level 12 to like almost 20. So you were in the Barons a really long time, and it was it was huge. It, it spanned the entire... Um, the entire... Hold on a second. Um, yeah, see, it spanned um, this area and this area. It didn't have this gash in the middle. So the southern and northern barons were one area at one time. And you were just in there so long. And it was kind of like... Uh, it was a rite of passage for every horde character. Unless you were like undead and you like went to what are the names of those places over there? Uh, unless you went to like 
Silver Pine Forest and, you know, the foothills. But honestly, the, the Barrens was where it was at. I, actually, my, my undead character that I'm going to show you in the next video, I leveled him in the Barrens. And, and the Barrens just had, like, it was like just a, it was basically 4chan of World of Warcraft. There would people would be in there and they would say things like, uh, the big thing was like Chuck Norris jokes. Oh, the Chuck Norris jokes. There were, there were Chuck Norris jokes, and people just asking stupid questions, and people giving smart-ass replies, and... When did... Thunder Bluff get a Zeppelin? That's different. I don't remember that. Must be something new. I wonder where that Zeppelin goes. I don't know. I just... Ah. So many things have changed. It, it's I don't even recognize this game anymore, honestly. Like, uh, I don't mean to rant, but I don't know. I understand things have to evolve, things have to change, but I, especially my friends and I, we have so many fond memories of Vanilla WoW and even BC, even Wrath of the Lich King, honestly. I had good memories of Wrath of the Lich King, but just Cataclysm just, uh, it's like they took something we loved, like, okay, like... 10 World of Warcraft is like your favorite childhood teddy bear, all right? And what Blizzard had done was they came over and they're like, okay, that's nice. It's old, but we're going to make it better. And what they do is they rip it apart and they tear it to shreds and they like throw it around and they like mechanically augment it and then make it talk and all this nonsense and they disconnect me from the See, <laughs> Blizzard, are you listening to me? Talking bad about your game, then you kick me off. Yeah. I see how it is. Hold on a minute. Okay, I'm back. Okay, well, I guess Blizzard must have been listening in on my microphone, because as soon as I started talking bad about the game, they kicked me off. But anyway, oh, here comes the Barons. By the way, oh, this isn't the Barons. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. That's, uh... That's, uh... Uh... Dustwallow Marsh. Barons are on the other side of this mountain. But anyway. So yeah, it's like, oh, here's your teddy bear. We made it better. And it's all like hard, metallic, and like in different pieces. But you know, I'm not mad at Blizzard at all. I mean, I understand things have to change. Quite well. And, uh, you know, and what's happened is since you know gaming's gaming's gaining all these new um, types of demographics and new types of players and you know the the hobby's evolving and so you know blizzard has to stay on top of things and they have to change their game to uh you know meet these new kinds of players and you know it's it's a little disheartening for first generation people like me but I understand why they did it, and I'm not mad at them. It's it's a business choice, but you know, and it's like it's like growing up in childhood. You know, you're never gonna relive your childhood. And World of Warcraft is just one of the classic World of Warcraft is just one of those things. Like it'll never, it'll never be the same as it was, just because the people have changed and the game, of course, has changed and all that. So, anyway, but hey, Blizzard, if if any Blizzard employees are listening in on this, hey. You guys are awesome. I'm not mad at you. Just uh, just reliving a little nostalgia. Anyway, um, I think that's going to be it for me. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and leave a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. <clears throat> and now, my next video, we're going to show you my first uh, level 60 character. And also my first character... Um, my first character that uh, I played during Blizzard's first expansion. There's way too many firsts in that sense. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. May your ancestors forever.